Welcome to the Bell Center. Tonight's battle taking place north of the border matches up the Montreal Canadiens versus the New Jersey Devils. Bill Peterson and Mike Weiss bringing you complete play-by-play -play and color commentary. After going further than expected in last year's playoffs, the Habs look to continue their winning ways from last year against the Devils. This season, we should expect to see the Devils in the playoffs, as they have been for pretty much uh, most of the 90s and into the new millennium. Expect to see New Jersey seriously contending for the championship. With their physical play and their trapping defense, the Devils should be in the playoffs once again. The Devils have been on a winning streak as of late, Bill. Let's see if they can continue that streak tonight. have been on a losing streak lately. They'll try to change that tonight. Banner after banner after banner hang high in the Bell Center to remind the Montreal Canadiens what they are questing for year after year, the coveted Stanley Cup. Tradition doesn't win championships. The Canadians, with their glory past, need to learn from it and take it to the ice night in and night out. Quick love, great footwork, outstanding ability to handle the puck. You can stop me anytime you're ready. I can go on all day about Brodeur. Did Theodore earn his own respect or what? He decided that he was going to be a number one goalie last year, and he did more than that. He became a perennial all-star in the process. drop of the puck. Koivu passes to the defenseman. Neuendijk carries it over the red line. Ravens with another bone crushing check. Petra sends it over to the right wing. He takes the slap shot. Rafalski sends it back over to Stevens. Passes over to the left wing. Eliash passes it to Neuendijk. Quintal sends it in front to Traverse. McKay brings it past the red line. Perot sends it to the left wing. Deflected off the blocker. Tevardovsky passes it over to Langenbrunner. Brings it over the red line. Takes it past the blue line.
This face-off is to the right of the goalkeeper. Kelger sends it back to the defenseman. Brisebois passes it to the right wing. Dackel sends it up to the center. And he takes a wrist shot. Madden makes a long pass over to Stevenson. Bullis brings the puck up. Juno carries it past the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. Vicious check by Danico. Raylan plays it up to the center. Quintal slides it to Koivu. He sends it over to Zednik. Petrov brings it past the blue line. Salmonson sends it up over to Gomez. He takes a snapshot. We're going to see a hooking penalty called on. Koivu. And it looks like they're going to get a power play opportunity off of this one, Bill. Montreal penalty to number 11, Saku Koivu. Two minutes for hooking. Tabernowski takes the, the puck up to the zone. Five minutes, 23 seconds. Quintal passes it over to the left wing. Niedermeyer passes it off over to Friesen. McKay brings the puck up to the zone. He lets the slap shot go. What a save! Ilya takes the puck up. Friesen brings it over the blue line. Niedermeyer sends it over to the right wing. Brodeur was impressive in the last play. Huh? Brodeur is susceptible on the wraparound. It's amazing more players don't try it on him. He can get down quick enough, but his sliding over to cover still needs improvement. This guy's one of the best in the league, so I'm sure it's something he's working on. to the right of Brodeur. Kelger sends it over to Travers. The man advantage situation is over. Steven takes it past the red line. Breeze Bois brings the puck through the zone. Audette passes to the defenseman. Carries it past the red line. Madden passes to Stevenson. Carries it over the blue line. McKay makes a long pass to Perot. He's on the breakaway. 
And he takes a wrist shot. Save by Brodeur. Brodeur doesn't always need to be in perfect position. He can use his great reflexes to make the save. Let's see that again from a different angle. Brodeur does such a good job protecting his net, and it shows he's got a low GAA. Face off to the left of Brodeur. Abilene sends it up to the center. Berglund brings the puck up. He passes it to the right wing. He takes the backhand shot. He makes the save. Gulis sends it off to Zhukovsky. Gets it over to the left wing. Gulis passes it to the right wing. Sends it back to the defenseman. He takes the slap shot. That was a great stop by Brodeur. And they blow the whistle as the goalie covers up. We've got a face-off to the left of Brodeur. Gilmore passes over to Dackel. Salmonson sends it to Langenbrunner. Carries it over the red line. Gomez takes it past the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. Tonight, there's been some good, solid defense by Gomez. Gomez is a great checker. The opposition always has to be on the lookout for him. This face-off is to the right of the goalkeeper. Centers it over to Stevenson. Koivu takes the puck up through the zone. Carries it past the blue line. He passes it to Zednik. He's got no problem making the save. He gets knocked off the puck with a check by Kintal. Mike, I'm impressed by the defensive single-mindedness shown by Friesen. Friesen is a strong checker. When the opposition see him coming, they know to get out of the way. This face-off is left of the goal. Moves it to McKay. Audette brings it past the red line. He passes back to the defenseman. He lets the slap shot go. McKay plays it up to the center. Severodovsky passes it to Eliash. Brings it over the red line.
Friesen passes it over to Lewendijk. McKay sends it up to the center. Perot sends it over to the right wing. Audette brings it past the blue line. Sent back over to McKay. Perot sends it to the left wing. He passes it to Brisebois. Save! And he covers up. Face off to the left of Brodeur. Madden passes it over to Rafalski. Stevenson takes it past the red line. Pandolfo moves it back over to Madden. Save by Theodore. Bulis plays it up to the center. Juno slides it over to Tchaikovsky. Carries it over the blue line. Madden brings the puck up through the zone. Rafalski carries it over the red line. Dackel sends it up over to Gilmore. Brings it past the red line. Brings it over the blue line. And he's checked by Gomez. Penalty on the New Jersey Devils. Well, that penalty's going to put them on the power play. Off to the left of Brodeur. New Jersey penalty. He takes the top shot. Scott Gomez, two minutes. And he takes a wrist shot. Time of the penalty, 15 minutes, 10 seconds. Sure sends it to his defenseman. Zednik carries it past the red line. Petrov passes it over to the left wing. Koivu sends it to the left wing. Zednik sends it back to the defenseman. Petrov sends it up to the center. Eliash brings it over the red line. He passes it off over to Koivu. Zednik takes it past the red line. He sends it off over to Petrov. The man advantage situation is over. Neuendijk passes it off over to Eliash. Petrov carries it over the red line. Takes it past the blue line. Sends it back to the defenseman. Quintal sends it to Gilmore. Pass over to Kilger. We're going to see a penalty on the New Jersey Devils. And that will get them an extra attacker. We're going to have a face-off to the right of Brodeur.
New Jersey penalty to number Perot 26. makes a centering pass. pass. Two, oh, two minutes oh. for tripping. Time of the penalty. He passes back to the minutes. defenseman. 52 that was seconds. a hard hit by Rafalski. Markov. Oh. Play goal by McKay. You know that goalie usually keeps his team in game, so that goal is somewhat surprising. The Montreal Canadiens capitalize first. That's a pretty one-timer for the goal by McKay. Montreal goal. Raylan brings it past the red line. Over to the 21. right wing. Gianta sends it on. Over to Berglund. Rive brings the puck to the zone. Tcherkovsky brings it past the blue line. Bulas sends it to his defenseman. That was a great stop by Brodeur. Time of goal, 18 minutes, 19 seconds. Tevardovsky carries it past the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. That's an easy save for him. Gianta passes to the defenseman. Bulis passes it to the right wing. Marka brings it over the red line. The Montreal Canadiens hold the lead as the first period ends. One to zero. Mike, what's your take after the first period? The Devils need to shoot more if they want to take the lead. The Canadians are winning. They've had better luck converting their opportunities. The Devils are being more physical, but they're forgetting the object of the game, which is to score more goals. Time to drop the burnt biscuit. Tevardovsky plays it up to the center. Langenbrun brings it over the blue line. Zednik sends it back to Traverse. Quintal passes to Petrov. Sends it to Koifu. He lets the slap shot go. He's got to continue to make saves like that to keep them in this contest. The New Jersey Devils are trailing. In general, Mike, what does this team need to improve this year? I'll tell you, they're an experienced team with a lot of talent, but they haven't been able to pull it together in recent years. Face-off to the left of Brodeur. Moves it back over to Sure. Nice save. Brodeur makes the save. McKay sends it back to the defenseman. The Canadians are a scrappy team that doesn't give up. They have a great core group of guys that can help them in the future.
Gilmore passes it over to the left wing. Great save to keep this game close. Markov sends it up to the center. Takes it past the red line. Dackle carries it over the blue line. Niedermeyer sends it to the left wing. Pandolfo carries it past the red line. Danico sends it over to Langenbrunner. Takes it past the blue line. He lets the backhand shot go. Boy, he makes the hard saves look easy. The Canadians aren't the youngest team in the league, but they have veterans, which every team needs. Juno plays it up to the center. Poulos moves it to Zhukovsky. Brings it past the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. Great save! He's taken up where he left off last period. Let's face it, the Canadians have a great history. Montreal knows good hockey. They hope to bring another cup home for their fans. Off to the right of Rodeur. Raylan passes it over to Gianta. Berglund carries it over the red line. Perot sends it over to the right wing. Audette carries it past the blue line. Raylan passes it to the right wing. Gianta brings it past the red line. Zednik passes it over to the left wing. Bone crushing hit by Eliash. Brings it over the red line. Brings it over the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. Koiva passes it over to Petrov. Save by Brodeur. We're going to see a penalty call here. And it looks like they're going to get a power play opportunity off of this one, Bill. Off to the left of Theodore. Montreal penalty to number 44. And he takes the snap shot. Suray, two minutes. Langan. Brun passes it to Gomez. Time of the penalty. He Five sends it over to Selmanson. 43 seconds. Plays it up to the center. Good goaltending is the best penalty killing you could have. He takes a snapshot. That was a huge save by Theodore. Gomez sends it back to Langenbrunner. Brodeur slides it to Rafalski. Selmanson takes it past the red line. 
Langenbrun sends it to his defenseman. McKay takes the puck up. Looks like we're going to have a penalty here. You know, in that last play, Bill, I think he got a little bit overzealous. The Canadians love a power play opportunity, Bill. They're definitely among the league's best in converting, Mike. We're going to have a face-off with the right of Brodeur. New Jersey penalty to number 23, Scott Gomez. Two minutes. Abilene sends it in front to penalty, Danico. Seven penalty minutes, over. 32 seconds. Passes it to Stevenson. Brisebois sends it up to the center. Koivu sends it up to Petrov. Danico takes the puck up through the zone. Breeze Bois passes it off over to Zednik. They go offside. The Canadians are a scrappy team that doesn't give up. They have a great core group of guys that can help them in the future. Over to McKay. Audette plays it up to the center. Markov sends it over to the right wing. Perot passes to McKay. The penalty is over, and both teams are at full strength. He takes a stop shot. Pandolfo brings the puck up. Carries it over the blue line. The Canadians are most effective when the pace of the game is fast. Sends it to the left wing. Markov sends it off to Reve. He sends it in front of the net. He passes it to the left wing. Kelger passes over to Gilmore. This is checked by Tevernovsky. That was a terrific save by Brodeur. Dackel passes it to the right wing. He lets the slap shot go. Markov passes it over to the left wing. Rive moves it over to Juno. Carries it past the red line. He takes the slap shot. Tevardovsky brings the puck up through the zone. Takes it past the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. That goal ties it up in the second. You know, most teams don't get more than a couple on this guy. You know, their coach looks like he wants to make some major changes. Now from the net cam, we're going to see exactly what the goalie saw.
You know, as a defensive player, you can't allow your goalie to get screened like that. New Jersey Juno Juno takes scores. the puck up by number 25. Bullis brings Jones. it past the blue line. New indict. Assist. He takes the step shot. That Bullis. was a great stop by Brodeur. 12 minutes. 17. Ilyash carries seconds. it over the red line. New indict sends it over to the right wing. What a save! He centers the puck. Knocked down in front by Theodore. Theodore moves it back to Soray. He slides it to Juno. Passes over to Tchaikovsky. He passes it up the center. Langenbrun sends it to Salmonson. Brings it past the red line. Gomez makes a long pass over to Langenbrunner. Stevens brings the puck to the zone. Travers sends it to the left wing. McKay passes it to the right wing. And he takes a wrist shot. Stevenson brings the puck up. Madden carries it past the blue line. Audette passes it over to Perrault. McKay brings it over the blue line. Sure sends it over to the right wing. Dackel brings it over the red line. Gilmore sends it back to Kilger. He sends it up the center. Gilmore passes it over to Brisbois. Ilyash slides it to Friesen. Carries it over the blue line. Kilger passes to the defenseman. Sure passes it to Gilmore. Dackel takes it past the blue line, passes it to the right wing. He makes early season goal for the Montreal Canadiens. You know, it's not very often this goalie lets one in like that. They're feeding off their fans' energy. The goalie couldn't get back across the crease to stop that one time by Gilmore. Montreal goal scorer. Koivu takes it past the red line. Doug he moves Gilmore. it to Zednik. Assist to number 24, Andreas Dako. And to number 44, Sheldon Sore. Time of goal, 16 minutes, 44 seconds. Let's face it, the Canadians have a great history. Montreal knows good hockey. They hope to bring another cup home for their fans. Face off to the right of Brodeur. Back over to Rive. Denied. Brodeur loves that the shot out of the air. One. Please find the nearest usher. Well, some teams will beat themselves if you wait long enough, but not the Canadians. 
The Canadians don't take many penalties. They're a very disciplined team. Face off to the left of Brodeur. Sends it back to the defenseman. He passes it to the right wing. And he takes a wrist shot. Langenbrun sends it up over to Gomez. Passes it to Niedermeyer. Over to the right wing. Langenbrun carries it past the red line. He takes the backhand shot. That's save for Dexter. One goal lead. Markov passes it off over to Gilmore. One minute. One minute remaining. Niedermeyer takes the puck up through the zone. Pandolfo sends it over to Stevenson. Oh, and he missed the pass. Niedermeyer passes it over to the left wing. Pandolfo carries it over the red line. Gilmore carries it past the blue line. That was a great save! As we end two, it's a lead for the Montreal Canadiens. Two to one. Hey, Mike, let's see if the stats reflect the scoreboard. The Canadians haven't kept up in power play conversion, Bill. Hey, the more you shoot, the more goals you get. These guys need to remember that. The Devils need to focus on their offense a little more. Playing physical will only get you so far. Let's go down to the ice for the drop of the puck. Neuendijk moves it back over to Niedermeyer. Brings it past the red line. Looks like someone does not want to see overtime. They get caught offside. Can he be a consistent netminder? Theodore had a breakthrough season, but needs to show he can do it again. He faces a lot of shots, so his team will need him to be solid back there. Theodore takes the stick and redirects the shot away. Over to Audette. Brings the puck up through the zone. McKay brings it over the red line. Gomez sends it back to Langenbrunner. Audette sends it off to Perot. He passes it over to McKay. Gomez takes it past the red line. He plays it back over to Selmanson. Saved by the post. 
He passes it off. Over to Langenbrunner. Grabbed out of the air. Sure passes to Audet. He relays it over to Perrault. Gomez carries it past the red line. Brisebois sends it to the left wing. McKay carries it over the red line. Perrault moves it over to Audet. He moves it over to McKay. He lets the backhand shot go. He's coming up big to keep them in the hunt. Takes the shot. Passes over to the left wing. Neuendijk sends it over to Friesen. They get called for offside. The Canadians are so quick. you got to be fast to keep up with their game. Passes it over to Zednik. Saves like that are what's keeping them in this game still. Pandolfo brings it past the red line. He slides it to Stevenson. And he takes a wrist shot. If they want to stay in this game, he's going to have to continue to make saves like that. Petro brings it past the blue line. Zednik passes it to the right wing. Raylan passes it to Gianta. He sends it to Berglund. Brings it over the blue line. Markov slides it to Gilmore. Dackel carries it over the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. He passes it up the center. That save keeps them down only one goal. Tonight's game shows you that you won't see many costly errors from a team like the Canadians. The Canadians don't spend much time in the penalty box. They're a disciplined team who don't let their emotions land them in the box. Got a face off to the left of Brodeur. <laughs> Juno sends it over to the right wing. Tchaikovsky sends it up to the center. He makes the save. The Canadians play a fast style of hockey. I hope they can keep up. We're going to have a face off to the right of Brodeur. Rafalski passes it to Eliash. He passes it to Friesen. And he takes a wrist shot. Save by Theodore. Bulis takes the puck up. Takes it past the blue line. Centering pass over to Juno. Friesen can only shake his head after getting his sure goal taken away by Theodore. Face off to the left of Brodeur.
Dackel sends it up over to Kilger. He lets the slap shot go. He passes it back to Breezebois. Stevenson plays it up to the center. Madden carries it past the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. Gloved out of the air. Sure brings the puck to the zone. He takes the slap shot. Past his glove in the league. Brodeur passes it off to Niedermeyer. Langenbrun takes it past the red line. Moves it back to Gomez. Petrov sends it to Zednik. He passes back to the defenseman. Langenbrun sends it off over to Gomez. He is determined to get out of here in regulation. Rive passes it to the right wing. Petrov brings it over the red line. Abelie passes to Langenbrunner. Carries it past the red line. Gomez sends it over to the right wing. Quintal passes to Juno. Rafalski moves it over to Gianta. Brings it over the blue line. Berglund moves it back over to Rafalski. Bullis brings it past the blue line. Severodovsky sends it over to Niedermeyer. He passes it over to Friesen. Are you going to see a tripping penalty on New and we got a power play coming up here, Bill. Oh, I'm sure that wasn't in the coach's game plan. The Canadians are one of the best teams in the league in power play percentage. New Jersey penalty Perot to number it 25. To Joe carries it over to Blue Line. Two minutes for tripping. Time of and the he takes a wrist shot. 11 what minutes. a save by Brodeur. The Canadians are a quick team. They love to keep an upbeat tempo. Got a face off to the left of Brodeur. Koivu passes it over to Petrov. He lets the slap shot go. Breeze Bois slides it over to Zednik. Takes it past the blue line. He passes it over to Sure. Plays it up to the center. Koivu sends it back to the defenseman. He centers it to Zednik. That was a huge save by Brodeur. Brisebois carries it over the red line. Gets it over to the left wing. And he takes a wrist shot. The penalty is over, and both teams are at full strength. Petrov sends it up to the center. Koivu passes it over to the left wing. Zednik carries it past the blue line. Passes over to the left wing. That was a great stop by Brodeur. Brodeur logged a nice save there, Mike. Brodeur doesn't give up many rebounds. He understands the importance of not giving up rebounds. This face-off is to the right of the goalkeeper.
Perot passes to the defenseman. And the goalie covers up to stop play. The New Jersey Devils have definitely struggled at times. Any thoughts on that play? Now, the Devils are generally known for their team defense, but they've been slipping in the last couple of years. Face off to the left of Brodeur. He sends the puck back to Markov. Brodeur passes it to Stevens. Eliash sends it up to Neuendijk. Brings it over the blue line. He sends it back over to Eliash. Passed back to Fraser. He must have puck magnets in that glove. Brodeur sends it to his defenseman. He gets knocked off the puck with a check by Breland. He takes the backhand shot. Niedermeyer passes it off over to Berglund. Juno sends it over to Bullis. Niedermeyer sends it off to Gianta. And it looks like we're going to have a penalty. And that will get them an extra attacker. Timeout by the Montreal Canadiens. Montreal penalty to number 38, Jan Bullis. Two minutes for hooking. Time Severodovsky passes over to Friesen. Takes the puck up to the zone. He passes it to the left wing. Eliash moves it over to Severodovsky. Friesen brings it past the blue line. Eliash passes to the defenseman. Another great shorthanded save. Theodore looked good on that last save. Theodore doesn't always come out to meet the shooter. Sometimes he hangs back and makes the save with his quick reflexes. In a close game, winning these face-offs is big. Neuendijk passes to Tevernovsky. Theodore was impressive in the last play, huh, Mike? Jose Theodore really came into his own last year. He could work on his ability to spring up after a save, especially since he gets caught flopping on the ice. Experience as a top netminder is going to help his consistency. It can be a real advantage to win the majority of faceoffs late in the game. Quintal passes it to Soray. Niedermeyer sends it to Frieza. Brings the puck up to the zone. Neuendijk passes it to Eliash. Quintal brings the puck up. 
McKay brings it past the red line. The penalty has now expired. Tevardovsky makes a long pass over to Eliash. Petro carries it over the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. Koivu sends it to the left wing. Zednik plays it up to the center. He's got to continue to make saves like that to keep him in this contest. The Canadians love fast-paced games. That's where they feel most at home. Sends it back over to Sure. One minute. One minute remaining in the third period. Passes over to the left wing. The New Jersey Devils need more firepower and are going to be extra attackers. It's a down the ice. It's a big empty net to put the game way out of reach. I uh, don't want to put this one to bed just yet, Mike. Montreal goal scored by number Koivu 25. takes it past the red line. Zednik slides it to Petro. Assist to number 93. Gandolfo takes the puck up. Madden takes it past the blue line. He passes it off to Rabowski. The Montreal Canadiens come out on top by a score of 3 to 1. The Devils stay in second in the Atlantic Division. Thanks for watching, and good night from the Bell Center. And now, for the three stars of the game, the number three star, Jose Theodore. The number two star, Chad Kilger. The number one star, Doug Gilmore.